this is my 1981 Honda Passport C70 project. Um, so I got the carburetor and I didn't make a video about putting it on because it's not that hard. It's just one of those slide in ones sliding. There's a little nut knob at the end. You slide it into the part of the cylinder and then you got your throttle. So I'm going to put a filter on here because it didn't have its normal filter thing. So it's fine. Um, I'm using this on reserve because uh, fuel line's too short, but it's fine, it works. Um, so I got, I forgot an intake. I bought one, used, cleaned it out, works great. Two, uh, four 10 millimeter bolts, two on this and two on this. This is threaded, at least the one I bought, so I used shorter ones because it didn't have a nut to fit in there. It's fine. Um, just didn't oil change. All you do is pull this out. There's a nut on the bottom right here. Drain the oil. It takes about a quart. 10 W40, and I put some mystery oil in there, so nice and clean. And let's turn the run switch on. Cleaned out the gas tank what I could. And how many? How many kicks will it take? One, two. This one. It's nice and quiet too. That's a nice thing. Um, yeah, runs great. Very happy. It's just, uh, I don't have a battery in, but... The lights still work, at least the blinkers do. So, I gotta get the electrical all working in things, but... Really, this is a performance one, so it sucks in a lot more air. So yeah. Performance carburetor likes to suck in air, and there's also a filter, so you hear that a lot. Except when you're running it, this thing's actually really fast. Um, it gets up and goes right on the spot. Um, you need some electrical, the brake light and the headlight don't work when it's running, but the turn signals will kind of blink, or they'll stay solidly on, and the horn doesn't work, but I have a battery for it. Um, it's not exactly the right battery, but this will work in there um, until I get the right one. Uh, so I drain the oil, and... Uh, it's a little black, um, and really thick. Like, it's, here, ready? I'm gonna tilt the pan. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad I changed that, but there's no metal flakes, so we're all good. Um, next on agenda is tires and the registration for this. Well, actually, the electronics, but tomorrow, I'm gonna run it. I don't care. It's having, I'm having too much fun with this thing. Um, um, so, had everything wrapped up nice and neat. Breather for the carburetor, a few lines. Um, electrical's getting there. I'm not sure. If you guys know how to get some electronics, I just have a switch to turn it, the lights on and off. I don't know the rest. If you guys know things electronics, let me know, but um, runs great, brakes work great, even though they're drum brakes, so, I'm um, working on the seat, but yeah, getting it running was my main goal, and it's so much fun, um, except there's, like, a hard spot in the tires, even, well, because they're old, um, so when you get up to, like, 40 miles an hour on this thing, it just kind of, like, shakes, you can't really see where you're going, so, like, 30 is nice, um, yeah, I put <laughs> 10 of my own miles on here already, um, that's kind of crazy to think about, just testing. But yeah, um, so you guys, you know, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am kind of doing cafe racer style. I'm going to put on a different fender, take off the back one, move the lights up, get rid of the rack, um, paint it gray, keep the exhaust. I have to keep that. Um, but yeah, so let me guys, let me know what you guys like and what I want to see next.